Hello students, in this video I will show you how to use a digital storage oscilloscope or DSO in a very simple and a step by step manner. Whether you are new to electronics or using the DSO for your first lab, this guide will help you understand the basics, operate confidently and measure signals accurately. So let's begin. First of all, what is a DSO? A digital storage oscilloscope is an electronic test instrument that captures and displays voltage signals as waveforms. It helps us see how voltages changes over time, for example a sine wave, square wave or pulses. Unlike analog scopes, a DSO can store data, measure automatically and pause waveforms for closer inspections. Okay, uh, now let's look at the front panel of a typical DSO. You will find four main sections here. First, display screen. You can see here, display screen shows the waveform. Then, here you can see, vertical controls, adjust amplitude and select channels. CH1 and CH2 means channel 1 and channel 2. Then, horizontal uh, control is here adjust the time base and after that you can see the trigger section controls when waveform capturing begins most DSO also have an auto run stop button or a cursor button also and you can also find a USB or memory option is here uh, let's now learn how to use it in simple steps switch on the DSO here is the power switch here switch on the DSO and uh, wait for the screen to load here you can see the screen is loading okay it is ready now and uh, take a probe and connect it to the channel uh, here channel 1 and channel 2 uh, I have both the probe I have connected it uh, with the channel 1 and channel 2 so you can if you see this end it will looks like this uh, this is known as a BNC side and the another side is you will see a crocodile cliff, this black one, this will be connected uh, to the ground and a probe tip you can also see here, you can see this, okay. Uh, attach the probe tip and ground a cliff to the signal source, if no source is available, use the built in calibration signal, you can see here. It is, uh, it is already given here, uh, typically uh, it is 1 kilohertz uh, square wave, if you, if you can see that uh, it is written here 1 kilohertz. So I will connect the probe diff here and I will connect the ground, okay, okay. now you can see here is the waveform. Now, what is the next step? Use the vertical knobs here, vertical knob to adjust the vertical scale. You can see here I have to select the channel first. So I am placing the channel 1, then channel 1 is selected. Now, if you change the vertical knob, you can see what happened here. Okay. So use the vertical knob to adjust the vertical scale that is how much how how many volt uh, for a division uh, you want to adjust uh, make sure your waveform fits well vertically and this knob will help you to move the signal vertically for your clear view you will adjust it and here is the horizontal uh, section is here using the horizontal knob you can use it uh, to set the time base how much time each division represent uh, this spreads out or compress the waveform in time you can see and another interesting part in DSO is that using the stop run button to, uh, you, you can freeze the waveform you can see here the waveform is not stable here okay so when you will press the stop button you can see 
do you promise freeze here you can now use cursor tool or measure button to get value like frequency peak voltage uh, time period etc here you can see if i take the time then here i will select the time and using that i can measure using using this uh, this button this measure button i can uh, get the value in channel 1 you can see the uh, it will it will show the amplitude here you can see the amplitude here channel 2 is selected i i can change it to the channel 1 okay i am changing it to the channel 1 and then i will take the uh, voltage then i will press this uh, then i will get the voltage for amplitude i will take this so you can uh, see that amplitude of channel 1 is given here okay if i want to get the time then using this button you can use for time i will select here you can press this knob and you will get the frequency directly from here if you press that so look here the channel 1 frequency is 1 kilohertz amplitude is 3.12 volt and like this you can measure uh, the parameter of a signal here are some common mistake student make not grounding the flow properly using wrong voltage or time scale forgetting to press auto this auto button you can see uh, when wave from disappears okay that's it for this beginners guide to using a dso practice these steps and you will become more confident in using the powerful tool in your lab and project if you have any doubt or want a demo on a specific signal drop it in the comments or ask during class thank you happy learning